Yeah, I just I hadn't noticed that uh, warning sticker before, but it uh, actually warned about warning hot lens to avoid injury or damage, avoid any contact with lens. The uh, lens has this uh, kind of grill to protect it. I might try cutting that back because it uh, blocks out some of the side light. I know all the side lighting on the LED is a lot, a uh, lot more uniform. Yeah, YouTube just uh, did one little update here on this light. Had these uh, little pieces of plastic that were stuck up here blocking the side of the light. So I took and trimmed those off, as you can see there. And I cleaned it up a little bit. I got to sand a little more in there, get that smoothed out. But what that does, turn off this light. You can see now the uh, that straight. You can see the light pattern is much wider, and now you get this nice wide, really wide beam. Because this uh, bulb in here is supposed to be a 110 degrees uh, lighting angle, and that was the one thing I didn't like about the the uh, bulb that came in this. It was really more of a spot beam and this one has the hot spot in the middle which you get a pretty good brightness but I like the uh, lighting up the whole area if you're using this as a work light good way to use these NICAD batteries because they don't have quite the capacity of the lithiums and the voltage tends to you know it starts out good and high 21 volts and drops down to 19 and 18 and 17 I think these are around 16 when they're they're too dead to run a power tool but this uh, LED bulb will keep working down to 7 volts so you could actually and it it's, uh, maintains its brightness as the voltage drops so uh, with your NICAD it doesn't matter. You just run it till it won't turn on. And that gives me a use for these old NICAD batteries. I mean, they they still take a charge, and uh, yeah, they hold it for a reasonable amount of time, maybe a month. So having the LED with the self-regulating uh, driver in it, I think that'll work well with these. Uh, have two NICADs, so keep them around for this and the other nice thing is they're heavy that's actually a good thing because it makes this base more stable I was thinking about maybe tearing these apart and converting them to lithium but since they still work I will just keep them like this and now I found a use for a NICAD battery NICAD batteries like to be completely discharged before you recharge them unlike a lithium battery where you want to stop before you go too low so in this case if I run a battery dead with this light that's okay <laughs> you don't have to worry about the uh, damaging the battery it's a if you have any questions put them in the comments section below feel free to check out some of my other videos subscribe to the channel for updates uh, be sure to rate and share this video and as always thanks for watching